Uh, good evening. Um, congratulations to uh, to Twente for for go to fourth round. Also, I need to send compliment to all my players, which today uh, played here in Skonto Stadium. I think, especially first half, was um, was very positive uh, kind of of game and the style, aggressivity, good plan, good keeping. Our our moments and in this team, uh, you no need to give a lot. You no need to go give a lot, and this is this difference. For example, before a few days against Meta, and now today. And they use these moments. Uh, and I must also be honest, I, I played uh, in my career as coach against like um, Danny Olmo, Lovro Meyer, uh, against this kind of individual players, um, Petkovic in Dynamo. But uh, I never played against one better team. These players, and this uh, this this is really a team that doesn't have like one superstar. The superstar is this, their team, and they have many rotation. They understand each other. They play so this kind of football, and uh, it was very 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 good fight from our side. But um, uh, I must be realistic and honest, and um, they deserve to go to fourth round. They was in both games better better team, but today. We was uh, much, much, much better than in 20 and um, okay in last few minutes we just concede two goals when we open. But uh, we will take our benefit from this from this journey this year and uh, we will come stronger next season and uh, I hope with 14 games uh, in next season. Thank you. Yeah, your time. Uh, good evening, uh, coach. Uh, Actually, before your speech, I prepared a question uh, which about this uh, topic that uh, uh, was they stronger as a team or as a, any individuals? As I understood, of course, as a team, they were stronger. Uh, can you compare both teams as a players, as a, in, individuals? We know that some players of Riga came this year or even just in the summer. So if you would play like with this squad two or three years, could you uh, get this level which, which Twente had today and also the week before? Absolutely, absolutely. I believe this uh, this game will make us stronger. And uh, you saw today, you know, small details, uh, which quality has uh, Bashir and Gom, but in, he his end uh, maybe five, six balls without opponents pressure. His end somewhere, you know, to opponent or so. We need this uh, to. He only to continue our way is very, very good. And uh, I have uh, big potential in my team, but uh, this this team spirit, this understanding each other, feeling each other to become a good and strong team need time. And um, after 45 minutes, I, I, I said to my team, uh, it's very good 45 minutes. Uh, let's go in next 10 minutes a goal. And we have standard situation after that they win ball, counter attack and the scoring. It's um, no. We when we wake up tomorrow. Okay, I give them day off tomorrow. After seven weeks, I think first day off. Uh, they will be not so sad like tonight because we played good game. But uh, to clarify, if we just see the individual, uh, the the strengths or weaknesses, can we compare Riga players with Twente players, just as individual? Uh, I think now you see how the fast playing, sinking, uh, you know, they have their individual qualities they put in team, in structure for many years in, in academy. And, and this is this is different. They are they, they live different football. I know how is they working. We can nothing compare. If we compare something in our life, we give us unhappiness. Comparing means unhappiness. I will find all the time an opponent or other coaches something better than I have. Why I need to compare Riga FC? Riga FC is, is a brand. Riga FC is different, uh, different club with big ambitions. Why I need to compare this? It's not good, never good. We don't do that. Uh, can you say at what moment you lost your hopes? It was after they scored the first goal today or at which moment? I, I never lose my hope, you know, I, 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 because we showed already this this season some some good games where we turn result. But um, after the second goal in 90 minutes, I said, uh, now we will not score. Maybe, maybe we will lose this game. And um, but uh, yes, 
I I will never accept losing game, never. And this 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 time uh, with six games in Europe against strong opponent will uh, help us to to come stronger from tomorrow. Uh, Contreras had the chance uh, in Atlanta, and also he had chance today. Do you feel he could have done better, or it's just uh, their goalkeeper? Um, I, uh, many, many situations, you know, maybe sometimes we, we need to bring him maybe three, four times in situation, maybe to score on this level goal. This is everything experience. Uh, we had also many, many crosses. I think where you go one time, um, have also a very dangerous situation when he passed. Uh, we need to analyze this now, but, uh, I can be satisfied with Anthony, with his game and, uh, no, it was today. In this kind of games, you need also a little luck. You need to score this first goal, you know, you need to take these emotions, these vibes from Tribune. Uh, it's very difficult now, you know, after the game, but I must be realistic, you know. This team was just in two games better in this moment. They come after pre-season, they come to playing this game fresh. They have one game uh, in their league. They have these two games against Hammarby. They are in their best shape. And we are since months, since months, we are all three, four days playing. And I think we are from body here, from, from physical, from my team, put everything today on this green field. You know, seven, eight weeks, all the three, three, four days games. This very, very hard. You saw what Pep Guardiola yesterday said. It's, uh, it's everything changed, more pressure, more games. Everything is, this is football, you know, people love football too much. And also, coach, uh, some questions about the squad. Uh, first of all, what is going on with uh, Glodin Gonda and uh, and Miloš Jović? Secondly, about El Bashir and Gom position today. Is it because just of Jović injury or other reasons? And thirdly, probably spectators uh, wanted uh, Gotjeman Keda from the first minute. Can you also explain this decision? Yes, uh, about Muzinga and his injury, he have some, uh, he, uh, he gets some injury in Twente on his hamstring. I think one, two days more and he will be back for today was to, to short period, I think between 10 and 14 days. And it's time, it's not, uh, not big rupture. So we expect him soon back in team training. Milos Jojic before this Twente game against Kecskemeti here, the see with elbow in his ribs, uh, I think uh, one rib is broken and he need to sleep and we let that him play in Holland, but it was, uh, it was with big pain. So he need to be 10 days calm in his bed to, to breathe because he has big pain on this, pa on this, on this place. Um, what about Mankenda? Yes, I decided today to start, at, to start with Jurko because uh, Jurko I know longer and I know Jurko is national team player. He know how to deal with this pressure and um, how to play against the, their left back, you know, which is one of the best left backs in uh, in Holland. No, I mean right back, but today he played light, uh, left back and in Twente. So Jurko did a great job. Jurko really did a great job and uh, that's why I decided for Jurko because to don't have like two wingers on two lateral position, both right left Aurelio and right Mankenda. Um, Ma Ma Mankenda need to, to, you know, he need to work on, on, on his, um, to put his abilities and his qualities uh, every game, you know, on same level. It's not enough to play one time in two months, a uh, very good game. It's, we work on that, we speak on that, we give him like uh, mental and, 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 and also physical and, 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 and tactical skills. And um, we hope he can stabilize, uh, stabilize his, his performance week by week uh, against doesn't matter which opponent in, in, in which in, uh, and under which uh, uh, environment. El Bashir uh, is normally number eight or number six. He played in Auda last season, this position. I know him from, uh, and uh, he's like um, aggressive leader, very, very uh, fast and I think this is the uh, best position for him, where he can play very aggressive in 4-1-4-1, one, one, this kind of position, or 3-5-2 or 3-4-3, three, three, because he can run very fast and uh, his endurance is top.
but his uh, today what I missed it was like this um, this sometimes to be calm to 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 be more strategy to deliver more balls to our players he was under stress when he need to pass he he lost ball you know and because he's also for him after this injury two and a half months uh, he need just now match practice to to have good connections with ball and with our teammates and, and with pitch and also other thing about the position choice uh Douglas Aurelio as a lateral I think the first time for him in this position how you maybe managed uh, this when we played against Wikingwood here at home, we score second goal. Uh, we we defend against Wikingwood when they have their transition, like uh, our number ten jump and our winger go back with their with their right back. So we defend sometimes with six, and Douglas Aurelio win ball on left side and pass to Joic, Joic to Mika, Mika cross to Marco, Marco score. So. Um, Douglas Aurelio is street footballer, but he has mentality. He will not sleep like after crosses. He will help be inside, you know, like in defending. And so uh, I, I was sure, you know, I need like two strike. I need Douglas Aurelio as lateral to turn this game to score first. We have two, three situations where he where he give very good influence in first half. And um, no, it was, I think, very good choice. What my coaching staff and me prepared for this for this game, I think it was we had aggressivity in center with Bashir, also creativity with Brian Penner, with Babet's strategy, our three defender fight it. I can just say like very difficult for my players also when you play European games, I never speak about referee, but we need to adapt in duels, you know. In Holland was German referee, he led very hard game playing. Today after five minutes, I think this is maybe a red card even uh, on, 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 on Baba. And also some situation, 20 players shoot on our goal. Every player from 20 run back and only referee give C is corner. You see on reaction on players, it's not corner kick, you know. And this is very difficult also in so equal games, equal moment for players. To, to 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 adapt on different kind uh, referees from different countries they have they have different style and i was today surprised all 50 50 situation was against us i never talk this but i'm i'm i don't know how to explain some situation it's it, it was uh, we lost game but uh, it was not a good performance from from referees and if you said about referees, you understood uh, why you had uh, yellow card in the first uh, half? No, I think I guess concede yellow card in second half, not in first half. I, it was not. I, I don't know. I just. I was. I think he maybe wanted to give yellow card to coach from twenty, not to me. I, I even. I was very calm in this situation. He come in second half, give me yellow card. I looked to him. I think he lost his compass. I don't know. And uh, maybe to conclude this EuroCup campaign journey, as you say, uh, the main emotion, the main conclusion about these six games, what uh, Liga have after these six games, what maybe Latvian football have after these six, six games, for your opinion? When you see today this, uh, this, uh, this stadium, uh, of course, people, people come, uh, uh, to watch us, to support us, because we gave them, I think, uh, special emotion against this Kechkemeti Ungari team. It was big entertainment from my 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 players. So we need only now to to take these lessons to to repeat these kind of games every week, all seven days, and to have this good bridge uh, from I don't know from this Kechkemeti to drive to Salaspils to play on artificial grass to go to Twente after three days, play in front of twenty five thousand. This big, big traveling uh, between big different worlds, and I think Latvia can be can be what about Riga FC this season can be satisfied what we show. Of course, we wanted to go till the end, but uh, we need, uh, we, I think all three opponents, Wikingwood with their pitch, with Island trip, Kechkemeti, you see now in their championship, they won both games. Uh, they are on very good way. I think they will be also champion. And now with Twente, we, this draw was not on our side. We, we took really strong opponents. And that's why I hope now from this moment, we have Monday game against final game against Auda. But our main competition since months, I speak to you, all of you, it's champions uh, chip. And we need to give all our energy to forget this very fast, to win this title. 
to have this confidence, to have heritage, to, to go next season from different starting point in Champions League qualification. This is my dream. We will we will have eight games in qualification and six in group stage. I promise this now. If I'm staying here, if I win championship with Riga, uh, I will play next season group stage. I promised. And that's my answer to all of Latvian people. So we will bring 18, minimum uh, 14, 14 games to Latvia. And finally, will you give uh, one rest day for the team, for the staff tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow we have the rest uh, day off. Uh, I give this already before five, six days when I did schedule. I thought we can go somewhere and celebrate. and But also now we need to take one beer and to come down and uh, to with clear head now then to prepare in three days. Uh, in four days is Auda and it will be... We needed we need new emotions again.